So today the uh, cases are coming together. We're gonna put the ending back together totally and uh, we're gonna use <laughs> we're gonna use this. Uh, this is Permatex uh, aviation stuff and uh, I'm gonna use another brush because the one that's included is a little bit too big. So here's the different screws holding the heads and the cylinders on the crankcase. Uh, we have six of these. That is the smallest. Uh, that's D. So we should have one, two, three, four, five, six of the D model. And then we have this length that's e and we should have two of these uh, we have the e am i blind or what i don't see any e no because i'm blind c of course <laughs> one two there's two c okay uh, then we have six of these that is b we have one, two, three, four, five, six of B. And the longest model, two of them, A. And these are located there. So we have basically the engine, cylinder one, two, three, four. And we have cylinder one, two, three, four. And this is how these are located. So it's pretty crucial that we have these at the right right location yeah let's put them there
Right, so let's have a look at the oil pump from the X3 engine. Uh, this is the housing uh, and uh, it is sealed with an o-ring that always gets pretty brittle so here's the new one goes into that track there and uh, it's also got this radial seal but uh, you can't change it if you don't pressing this wheel of the axle so you need to have a hydraulic press to do that so what we're going to do is to change these two and then put this back together again and you have of course noticed if you have been working with gs that uh, especially with the with the timing belt that you have this little marking there and uh, that's because this is of course of course balanced so you need to get this right when you put it back together again so i made a marking there and there's a marking so i get it get it back at the same same position so when this is overhauled it goes back on the engine casing yeah exciting stuff and there's our new o-ring and our new radial seal so next up now is to put this back on but we don't want to have it looking like this so we're gonna clean this up before we press it back on the axle and then we're good to go head apart uh, have all the stuff there uh, pretty good camshaft not that worn uh, I'm gonna do a valve grinding on this head so to be able to have the have the valves uh, taken apart I need to have the camshaft out of the head because otherwise I can't come to this with the with the uh, valve tool so that's what we're doing here uh, look at that little blue thing there that's uh, that's the that's the former owner uh, trying to seal the leaking <laughs> the leaking return tube uh, o-ring yeah, I wonder if it worked. So this is coming apart and we're gonna grind the head. And I, of course, also gonna, whoops, clean this up. Because it's not that nice looking right now. Look at these, look at these valves. They're pretty fine. They're not burned at all. So this is gonna be this is gonna clean up very nice. So taking it apart and cleaning it. So we when when having when grinding the valves on the GS engine, you don't need to take the rocker arms out. Sometimes I see people take these out and it's a pain in the butt to have these out and then back apart again without these seals leaking but you don't you don't need to it's gonna be just fine with the with the good tool 
an ordinary tool won't do. But let's see if I can show this. Better light. There it is. So you see the the part that goes on the top of the valve is this design. And you need that because uh, it won't reach otherwise. So this is this is for a GS engine. Yeah. Cleaning. Next up. Yeah.